Hi, good afternoon. My name is Nancy Ward and I'm here to talk about our Computer Club's May General Membership Meeting. We have a great topic presentation for you and it's open to all residents of Sun City Anthem, not just the Computer Club. I think it's important because we as an older um, community are targets of uh, financial exploitation and I think that's something that's really important to all of us. So I'd like to welcome you to come and share with us and we have a few things we can talk about. The first thing we'll talk about is scams and scams come in many forms. There's telephone or computer internet scams, there's identity and uh, theft and medical theft. There's also homeowner targeted scams, something that we should all be aware of. Do you know who your contractor is? Is your contractor licensed? Um, do you know when you're being asked on the, on the telephone to give personal information if that is a person representing your bank or your insurance company? We'll also talk about financial exploitation and again why we as older adults are at risk. You know, we all have regular incomes, sometimes we're trusting or perhaps we're even dependent on people, and that will make us a target. Some examples are theft of property or money, perhaps the telemarketers, or even ID theft. You know, if somebody calls you again and asks you, you know, to verify your information, do you know who you're really talking to at the other end of the line? Um, one thing, too, that we don't do is we fail to report, and that could be for a number of reasons. We can be very embarrassed because we, we like to think that we know what we're doing, but we are easily taking, uh, being taken advantage of. There's also fear of retaliation. If we do report it, will they come back again? Um, we might be dependent on somebody, or we might just be in denial. Another thing that we're going to talk about is being prepared for the unexpected. If you and your spouse live together or you and your partner and one of you uh, take care of the bills in your house or pay all the bills, are responsible for your finances, if unfortunately something happens to that one person, will you know what to do? Will you know what bills to pay? Does your spouse use a check to pay your bills? Do you even know where the checkbook is? What about your accounts? Are you aware of that? When we're dependent on others, we just assume everything will be taken care of. But unfortunately, if there might be a medical emergency or something and your, sp and your spouse is taken to the hospital. You're not going to take the checks and the bills to your spouse while they're trying to recuperate so they can pay the bills on time. The last thing we'll talk about are additional resources uh, and contact information. And if you come to our presentation, at the end, you'll be leaving with this, a copy of this workbook. It will provide you all the information that I talk about in our presentation. It will also have some questions um, that you can answer on your own. You can sit down at your leisure with your spouse, maybe over a drink or something, and just go through the workbook and ask yourself these questions. And if you don't have plans for the unexpected, now's the time to make those kind of plans. So I, I would like to welcome all of you to join us May 11th at 1.30 in the, Del in the Delaware Room here at Anthem Center, and you can learn more about financial exploitation for senior adults.